to we found Mr. Richard Hayward quietly singing a little song and playing his harp in the corner. Now we know more about that, more about Mr. Hayward than that. We talked to him about a new book he's just bringing out on Ireland. Mr. Hayward, would you like to talk to us about your new book? I'd be delighted to talk to you about anything. Good. <laughs> well, now let's start on the book. Yes. No, what, what's no, it all about? No oysters, no more Guinness, no Shabli. Well, not at the moment. Just talk. It, yes. Very just dry, for the moment. Very dry subject. All right. Well, now the book is called uh, Munster and the City of Cork. And it deals with the province of Munster and the six counties of Munster. From what point of view? Well, from historical point of view, from the point of view of uh, antiquity in the region, uh, very much topography to any sort of intelligent tourist coming over. You know, he wants to know things about the country. This will be in the book. How long does it take you to take me to write this book? Nearly two years. It's a very long book. Living in Cork all the time? Oh, no. I, I'm sorry. I wasn't. No. No, I wasn't. I, Why not? I'd love to do that, you know. You would. Good yes. choice. <laughs> yes, I love Cork. It's a lovely city. Good. Yes. Mr. Raymond Piper, yes. you're illustrating Mr. Hayward's yes, book. What, what have you chosen as illustrations? Well, we chose between the two of us. We went around the country from point to point, which have made the plans, and we found a certain interesting article or a place, and we sketched it. If weather permitted, of course. Now, what sort of places did you, in fact, sketch? Mostly historical, topographical, things that are important to Munster in general. Such most as? important buildings, old castles, cromlets, people, and places. All right, tell us about some of them now in particular. Uh, well, for instance, we like to say the um, Rock of Cashel. Firstly, on arriving there, we found my bank manager had signed the book before us. And I sketched the thing towards sunset. He wasn't there then. And finished off with Cormac's Chapel, which took about six hours with the hops and stops between rain showers and sunshine. How long does it take you to make one of these illustrations? Sometimes an hour, sometimes half an hour, sometimes 20 minutes, sometimes even less, and up to even six to eight hours. Mr. Hayward, are you pleased, Mr. Piper, to illustrate your book? You, you, you've taken them on, as it were. Otherwise, you wouldn't be illustrating them. I see. Uh, this is, I think, the seventh book that Raymond has illustrated for me. And you're happy and with them? Oh, very happy. You, you think he's showing promise? We get on awfully well together. He never drinks my drink or any <laughs> friendly thing like that. Mr. Piper, do you have to live in Cork to get the, the atmosphere before you can illustrate? Well, as a matter of fact, the atmosphere to our, an island comes very easily to me. I'm very fond of it. So after I've gone to Belfast. When will your book come out, Mr. Hayward? In the spring of uh, next year. How much will in it March? be? March. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about well the money, now. but how much will well it be? Now. We're uh, very it, practical it, here. No, it'll be three guineas. Three guineas? That's 63 shillings. So you start saving up now, it won't be so bad. But what sort, what sort of people do you think is going, they're going to read this book? And if three guineas is too much, I'll autograph it for you and that'll cost you another guinea. That's what I was afraid of. What sort of people do you think are going to read this book? Oh, I think it's, a, it's a, of general interest to everybody. It's being published in London by Phoenix House. Will you have and British and Irish readers? I think. And American. And oh, Americans. Yes. You think it's going to be a success? Oh, no. I hope so. I wouldn't like to spend two years in something I didn't believe in, you know. The you publishers think so. They're publishers quite sure, so. yes, otherwise I wouldn't do it. Mr. Piper and Mr. Yeah. Hayward, maybe thank you very much for entertaining us and talking to us both. It's very kind of most, you. Bear most with versatile you. people in I would like to tell you about one of my harps at home. I've got a collection. One of them's very old and it's got an inscription right down the front of the four pillar. And what it does it says, say? It says, in the raw August Inge so hard. <laughs> you, may you never want a string while there's guts and an Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, though. <laughs>